Welcome. The following is a brief introduction to the library resources and services for graduate students at Montclair State University. Sprague Library is located in one building on campus. We have lots of study space, Wi-Fi, collections, a cafe, services, and a variety of seating. Laptop lending, printing, scanning, reserves, and online or in-person reference services are all available, as well as bookable study rooms. Here is a preview of our new study pods at the library that come equipped with whiteboards and monitors. I'll highlight a few more pictures to give you an idea of some of our spaces and library staff faces. We are open to the public, so even the broader community can come in for a visit. For example, your family members are welcome to use the library spaces. You can even inquire about borrowing privileges for MSU family members. For off-campus access to online sources and search tools, you will need a NetID though. We're open almost daily throughout the year, excluding some holidays, with slightly shorter hours between semesters and during the summer. From September to May, we're generally open until 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday, closing a little earlier on Fridays and open again on both Saturdays and Sundays, 9 to 5 and 12 to 9, respectively. Check the library hours page for exact hours. Even when the library is closed, all of our online resources are available to you 24-7 with your NetID. The books at Sprague Library are organized by subject according to the Library of Congress classification. Each print book spine has a call number, which is a string of letters and numbers, to help you identify its location on the shelf in relation to other titles. If you have any questions, you can ask at a library service desk for help. Call numbers are only for our print collection. Ebooks don't have a call number. You just access those online through our website. But if you're interested in browsing the physical books in the building, knowing what subjects the initial call number stands for can be quite useful. If you want to learn more about call numbers and classification, use the Ask a Librarian service on our website. More on that soon. Save time by putting a hold on items ahead of time using your library account. You'll get an email when your books are ready to be picked up at the front desk. This is a must for busy graduate students, especially if you're not on campus every day. Graduate students are welcome to check out for the entire semester. For undergraduate students, you get a 28-day loan. Graduate students can borrow 100 books at a time, and undergraduates can borrow 25 books at a time. Your library card is your MSU student ID card. To emphasize this point, I put it on another slide. Nearly all of our services and resources are completely free for you to use. All you need is your NetID for online access and your MSU ID card for in-person access. If it's been some time since you've done in-depth research or even if you simply find yourself stuck, get in touch with a librarian. We help thousands of students each year with the research for their coursework and assignments. Check the library hours page for the service hours of the reference department. Those are the people who power the service. You can get assistance over chat, email, text, phone, in person when available, or make an online appointment, which is held over Zoom. When should you do this? Anytime you have an assignment or component to your course that requires doing research, a literature review, finding evidence, we can help with the research in any of those cases. Or if you just want an introduction or refresher to your research skills. Go to montclair.libcal.com appointments to schedule a time to meet one-on-one -on -one with a librarian for help with a literature review, research for a class assignment, your thesis or dissertation, help with citation management, or EndNote, setting up scholarly profiles, etc. You can meet with your liaison librarian about anything. More on this a bit later.
There are two search tabs on the library homepage. One search is primarily for articles and journals, magazines, and newspapers, while the other searches are library catalog for books, ebooks, streaming videos, DVDs, and other media. The article search is useful for a quick lookup, but you want to make use of other research tools as well, since this search does not search our entire collection. For example, you'll want to become familiar with the most important databases and journals in your field. Use a research guide or talk to a librarian to get more familiar with these resources. See the links to all of these below the main search box. Take a look at the databases for your subject area and the best bets recommended by your librarian. They appear once you select a subject. Over 250 are listed here, so seek advice if you're overwhelmed. If you use Google Scholar, you'll want to be sure you've either set up your Scholar settings and library links page or use it from this database list. That way it connects you with our subscriptions. You can also access ebook collections from here since they are technically a database of ebooks. Find our ebooks in the library catalog. We've got plenty. Some of them are purchased on demand as you find and use them in your search. That's just one of the ways we make sure you find all of the research resources you need. Click on the journals A through Z button to search for the title of a journal, newspaper or magazine, or really any periodical publication. This can be useful when you are looking up a citation from a list of references. Just don't search here by keyword or for the title of an article. Use a database for that kind of searching instead. If you can't find the full text of an article or book chapter you need through one of our databases or our journal list, request it through our interlibrary services and you'll receive the article via an email link to download a copy. And try the new Easy Borrow service for faster service with print books. For interlibrary books, you'll need to come to the library during opening hours to pick up the book and check it out to your account. Loan periods vary for interlibrary loan books since we are borrowing them from another institution. Finally, document delivery means we'll make a copy of an article or book chapter we have in our print or microform collection, so you don't have to come into the library to use it. If you're new to doing research and using Sprague Library, get up to speed by taking a look at some of the short videos on our YouTube channel at bit.ly.com slash YouTube. Most videos are less than two minutes long. Our YouTube channel is also linked from the library homepage. If you're looking for more in-depth training, keep an eye on our workshop schedule, which is frequently updated with new offerings at montclair.libcal.com slash calendar slash workshops. We currently have over 200 published research guides available for you to use at montclair.libguides.com. What's a research guide? The most common type is an online subject guide with librarian selected resources in a subject area. Guides also often have how-to videos and search tips. Find research guides by clicking on the research guides button from the library homepage. At Sprague Library, there is a librarian associated with every academic department on campus. If you're not sure who your liaison librarian is, feel free to use the library chat to get help figuring it out. It's also listed on the website. Check the library homepage for news stories and updates throughout the year at www.montclair.edu slash library. Thank you for watching and please reach out to your liaison librarian or use the library chat if you have any questions.